All right, traders. So in this video, we'll discuss about a five-minute scalping strategy using RSI and candlestick patterns. It's really easy to do, and it's something that's very basic out there, but it's very effective. And we've not been, you know, using this in our setups. I have been using this for a while now, and it's very concrete, simple, and gives me that exact sweet point profit that I'm looking for. So let's get into it and try to see what it all about. So number one, I have RSI on the chart. RSI, you know, tells you about the strength of the buyers in the market, etc. If you don't know what RSI is, do check it out on Google or YouTube. Uh, we have the basic 14 period setting on the RSI. Uh, my my main goal in RSI is that I want to identify the overbought above 70 zones and the oversold below 30 zones. And at the same time, I am looking for a shooting star or a hammer candlestick pattern. If you don't know what a shooting star or a hammer candlestick pattern is, I have done coverage a couple of videos back. So do check it out. Uh, we've done a detailed coverage in that uh, concept. But basically to just give you a brief idea, shooting star is a bearish candle occurs after a big uptrend in the market. So on the shooting star candle prices try to go up but are not able to sustain beers come in, push the price down and it closes with a very long upper shadow and a very small lower shadow. At the same time, hammer is a bullish pattern. You have a big downtrend in the market. Prices try to come down further, but bulls come into the picture. The buyers push the price all the way up and you have a very long lower shadow and a small body and upper shadow and the prices go higher. So that's the basic idea what hammer and shooting star is. So what are we looking at? We are basically looking at either a overbought position on RSI or a 30 below oversold. So if we are in an overbought position on the RSI, I am looking for a shooting star to you know be uh, with this overbought condition so I can take that confirmed sell entry. Let me let me show you a couple of examples so you can get this idea in your head. So this is the charts of Nifty index five minute chart. Uh, we have the RSI 12th of July. So RSI goes in the overbought zone. At the same time, it is confirmed by a shooting star pattern on the candlestick. So that's the time when I would like to go short because it's, a, it's one of the best areas to go short. RSI confirms, shooting star candlestick confirms. We have double confirmation, so that's a good short entry. What is the stop loss? I would place my stop loss. So if I'm going short at this point of time, my stop loss would be a couple of points above my upper shadow. So that gives me a very good uh, stop loss. Target, it's totally up to you. But uh, there, are not, there are a couple of ways that you can set a target. Pivot point, Fibonacci. Uh, in the Fibonacci family, I can give you one way to set a target. So we got a good move from this point all the way to this point. So a lot of people, if you use this strategy, they set the target at the 50% of Fibonacci. So that could be a good target and a stop loss uh, right at this point. So you get a good risk reward trade by using this strategy. Do keep one thing in mind that when you use this strategy, you will not get tons of signals in a day because RSI is not such a volatile indicator. It's a very smooth indicator telling you when things are overstretched uh, in the market. So you will get maybe one trade in a day or maybe one trade in two to three days. But the trades you get are very, very smooth and to the point to get that extra profit out. So just to recap, we have a very, very short, uh, very, very small, uh, you know, the, the stop loss just above the shadow target comes to this range so we have a good 2 is to 1 trade so you can keep a 50% Fibonacci or you can use pivot points or whatever strategy you're using for stop loss let's have a look at a couple more examples so things get drilled into your head this is the charts of ITC again on the 5 minute time frame it's a good 5 minute scalp we have a good uptrend in the market so what are we looking at is a good overbought condition on the RSI this should be confirmed with a shooting star pattern on your stock chart and you can see a good shooting star pattern here go short here keeping a stop loss a little bit above the shadow targets totally up to you how you want to keep it so you get a good trade at this point of time let's have a look at another example this is a chart on 24th of july just a couple of sessions back so overbought conditions on rsi 
confirmed by shooting star pattern it's a great entry go short get that extra amount of juice in your bank right so we covered a stock we covered an index another stock britannia we have a good this is a charts on 16th of july a couple of days back overbought conditions on rsi looking at that number two looking at a shooting star candlestick pattern go short you get the great profitable entry right over here so that's that's something i love to practice and i love to execute in my trading plans just just keep it in your back of your mind so if this thing happens you can trade accordingly one bullish example that i can show you right now is on the charts of kotak mahindra bank again on the 5 minute charts so now since it's a bullish bullish uh, trade i'll be taking we are now looking for a oversold condition on the rsi so when rsi goes below 30 that's what i'm concerned about so we have a big downtrend in the market rsi goes below 30 look for a hammer candlestick pattern so we have a hammer you can take a buy trade at this point of time keeping a stop loss below the shadow lower shadow and the target's totally up to you how you want to keep it so that's basically what the trade is all about RSI identification for overbought oversold zones and entry and exit can be with your candlestick patterns your shooting star for the sell entry and your hammer for the buy entry so do let me know if you guys find this strategy helpful and do back test it out before you put it in the real market tomorrow and let me know if you are using it on any other time frame or using any other variations i'll be happy to listen to it in all in the comment section so i'll see you next time i hope you like this video